Hey everybody, how are you all today? Um, today I'm going to do a video about hair dye. Um, now I've needed my hair to be dyed for around the past two weeks. I do unfortunately have a lot of grey hairs but shh, don't tell anybody. Um, I'm also in my parents house, as you can see I'm in my dad's office and his lovely collection of Stephen King books are behind me. So um, I was in Dublin the other week and I went into Lush. Uh, bag's a bit battered and I saw their hemp henna hair dye now this is what it looks like it is greeny in colour and it's very earthy it's a nice earthy smell off it the colour I got was a uh, caca brun hair dye and it was 10.95 uh, I was in the Lush and Henry Street by the way and they were really helpful they told me how to sort this out so basically I have to break it up into little bits and put boiling water on top of it and um, add more water until it gets to the consistency of hair dye and then let it cool down so I don't burn my head and um, that's how they told me to do it in the shop now it does a lovely smell off it's a really unusual smell um, so hopefully you won't get that ammonia smell that you usually get with hair dyes because this has no ammonia in it it's just henna and hemp and um, they had four colours they had a black a dark brown, an auburn, and um, a rouge, a really, really, really red red. Um, so I chose to go with the auburn because it's coming into springtime, summertime. I want a new lighter colour in my hair, not just dark brown. So I, you have to do it with clean hair. So I washed my hair last night and I didn't bother straightening it, so it's all kind of frizzy and stuff. So I have a tight back. Um, so uh, this is supposed to be really, really good for your hair. It's supposed to be nice and conditioning, make your hair really shiny. They did say it was permanent, but I, I'm not too sure if it will be permanent or not. Anyway, I decided I'd give it a go. So um, I'm going to show you how it all melts together and then how I put it in. And I have to use loads of Vaseline around my skin, so I'll have shiny face for the rest of my videos. <laughs> because I don't want to dye my skin and go around with a big brown patch all around me. That's not a good look for me. So anyway, stay tuned and watch the rest. Bye. <laughs> And here is our final product. It took 20 minutes to look like a big cow pat. So I'm going to go upstairs now and put some Vaseline all around my head and my face. And then I'm going to put this in. So here we are, uh, me and my mum after putting it in and it was extremely extremely messy that's why I have a towel on right now, I tried to tie my hair up and my bobbin broke. So um, I didn't want to wrap my hair up because I said on the internet that if you wrap your hair, well I said wrap and cling film, that would go more red than brown. So I'm hoping because this isn't cling film that it won't go too red. Um, as well I have to leave it on between 3 and 4 hours. So I won't be leaving the house tonight anyway. Saturday night in dyeing my hair with my mum. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was extremely messy. We had to sweep the floor afterwards. It kept drying and flaking off and drying and flaking off. So for the next four hours, I'm gonna sit as still as possible and try not to get it all over my mum's house or there will be blue mortar. <laughs> anyway, see you in a few minutes, bye. So I'm just gonna pop my glasses off so you can see my face. This is the beautiful colour that eventually came out. I did expect it to be a bit lighter. It's a nice shine of red off the brown. Um, an awful lot of effort for a hair dye, I must say. Very messy. Stayed on for over four hours because when I went to wash my hair, there was no hot water left. It was an absolute disaster. So I ended up having to do 11 washes and two conditioners in between those 11 washes as well because there was like a silty sand stuck and the shampoo just wouldn't get out and I was getting so frustrated. I said right, bit of conditioner, get it out and it worked. Brushing my hair, stuck to my scalp, 
oh my back was in bits after being over the shower for that long um i do like the color uh, it's a bit darker than i expected it to be um i've left it a week to video this part of the video because uh, the hemp is supposed to darken over a space of 24 hours. The morning after I did it, I woke up and it was a beautiful, beautiful light brown or just a hint of red in it. And it's after getting darker. So I'm hoping after a couple of washes, it's had two washes. After a couple of washes now, um, it will get a bit lighter. So I'm hoping. But I don't know if I would use this again. It's just too much effort for something that's probably going to wash out in a couple of washes. Because I already see my grey hairs are starting to show through and I'm not really impressed with that. They're not grey yet but they're a really really shiny red colour and they're kind of sticking out like a sore thumb a bit. I don't think you'll be able to see them. Go a bit closer. No, doubt it. Anyway, um, for something that's not, has for a hair dye that hasn't got any chemicals in it, it worked wonders. So for anybody that's allergic to hair dyes, this would be a great thing to do. But you have to have help to do it. There wasn't a help in hell that I would have been able to put that in myself. I luckily had my mummy to help me. So it's Saturday night now. I washed straight in my hair this morning. Gonna get ready for a night out. It's my cousin's 18th. Happy birthday, Sean. And I'm gonna give my hair a new world because I haven't been out yet with my new hair. Got my hair did. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.